we're going to get started with our Get Fit class. It is a band's day. I have two oversized bands out. I have a water bottle to drink some water. We are going to use the wall for a couple different exercises. So we'll be doing each move for 45 seconds with our 15 second transition. And I do have shoes on when we use the bands because we stand on the bands and I just prefer to have shoes on, but you may do your own thing. Here's your march. We're gonna march walk. Plant your feet, take a couple big inhales right here. Take a big inhale, jump. And exhale, blow it out. We're gonna do that two more times. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, blow it out. One more time, big inhale, reach up. Right here, tap and reach. It's your tap and reach. Take the arm in front. There's your little front and front. Step touch, side to side. Take your step touch. Heel front and push front. Take a little heel and push, heel and push. Hold the right heel front, sit back, add your stretch, tap your foot down and up. Take the foot out and in. Stop the foot, shift your weight forward, bring it into your reach and pull. It's a reach up and a pull down. Reach up and pull down. Up and down, up and down. We have two more. Now bring the back knee in. Here comes the knee in. Add the upper back stretch, open up. Drop your arms, bring the back leg forward. Here's your hamstring on the other side. Sit back. Tap the foot down and up. There's your tap. Foot goes out and in. Stop the foot, shift the weight forward. Here comes that reach up, pull down. Stretching the back leg. Here's my balance. It's an up and down, three of these, two. Now this time, bring the back knee in. We're gonna take the arms behind. There's your chance to stretch, open up the chest, front of the shoulders. Relax your arms down. We're coming into our march. Take it, march here. We're gonna take our march out, out, in, in. Here's your little out, out, and in, in. Out, out, and in, in. Take it into a little bit of a squat when you do that. Let your hips go back a little. On the next one, march wide, stay wide. Right here, you're gonna stay wide. Add your little squats. Here comes your little squat down. I say little so that you can get the movement first. Not really worried about going deep. We will be doing wall squats a little bit later. Two more of these. And this one, stay low, cow cap. I want you to warm up your low back, your mid back, your upper back as you roll through the spine. Take it where it feels good for you. Get that full motion. From here, you're going to roll all the way up. Once you're up, you can go ahead and bring your shoulders back, bring your feet in. We're going to add a couple shoulder rolls. Take it into full arm circles. We're going to warm up our arms here, our shoulders. We are using the bands. Be aware of any stress you feel in your shoulders when you use bands. One more big circle. Fingertips can be your shoulders. It's going to be elbow circles. I want you to add a little bit more right here. Right here, drop your arms, march it out. Here comes the march.
It's a knee lift right here. Bring the knee up. We're going to keep switching side to side. Let's add a little pull down. Here comes your hamstring curl pull back right here. Little hamstring curl. Try to stand up tall. That means we want to keep our hips open as you pull back. It's your step touch side to side. March it right here. Now I'm gonna grab a sip of water. We're gonna start with our first move. I'm starting with a deadlift. Just a great chance to warm up the back body. And I'm gonna use a band as well. Pick whatever size band you wanna start with for your first move. You don't have to use a band, that's always optional. Just make your shoulders come back and down. And there it comes the hinge and the lift. Now I'm using this at the beginning. You're gonna see it a couple more times, but this is really to get that movement. It's a hinge movement. It's a huge deal because that is how you should move during the day. You should hinge at the hips, totally different than bending your back. We're going to take a couple more. Let's take one more. When you finish it, bring yourself up. We're going right into a plank. Now I'm using the plank to get that full body warm up as well. I'll be doing my plank on the chair. Feel free to take yours where it works for you. Think. Alignment here, so make sure your chest is in line with your hands. And then you have the zip of the core, little squeeze of the glutes. And we hang out here. Again, this is to get everything warmed up from the heel to the top of the head. Feel the exhale so that you make sure you use your core when you're in this exercise. 20 seconds to go. four, three, two, bring yourself up, shake it out right here. And now we're gonna come against the wall. It's not the wall squat though. I'm using this to strengthen our feet and our ankles. You're against the wall. You have a bend in the knees where it works. And then you're gonna lift your toes and tap them down. Lift and tap. So what I want you to do is think about Pulling the core, we don't want to have a huge arch. And you're lifting and lowering. This is for health for your shins, your feet. So if you start having collapsed arches, we're working on lifting our toes up to keep our lower legs and our feet strong. And of course, right, good for our posture because we have our head back, our shoulders back. You should be aware of what's happening with the core. There just comes your last one. Take a little break. We're gonna go into push-ups. Now I'm, I'm doing my push-ups on the wall. Wherever you wanna take your push-ups, maybe you have a dresser, your chair, I don't know, something. Or you go all the way down to the floor. Here comes your push-ups, shoulders back and down, and then you slide down and up. For each exercise, 45 seconds. Then we have our 15 second transition. Our next couple moves coming up are going to be more cardio moves. You have about 15 seconds in our push up. Take one more push up. Start bringing yourself up. You can shake it out, take a little march right here. Now we're gonna do three little different versions of cardio moves. One of them is gonna be a double step touch to the side. So when you're ready, give yourself space and we're gonna do our little 
double step touch, double step touch. We're gonna hang out here for 45 seconds. I'm using this as a cardio move. So use your space, big open and close with the arms. We'll be doing three different types of movements here for a little cardio. We have about 10 seconds to go. There we go, finish this one and then give yourself a little march. March it out, march it out, march it out. Now our next move is gonna be a tap back and we're gonna bring our arms up. So we're gonna be looking like this. And today, I'm making the pace just a little bit quicker. So how big you make the movement is up to you. 20 more seconds. Now we use side for the first one. We went back on this one. We're gonna focus on the arms for our next cardio. There's your three, two, march it out. Here comes the march. I want you to get in a good stance with your feet. Upper body, we're gonna start with some jabs. So when you're ready, you're gonna jab. Change the jab, uppercut, and you're right here. You're gonna go up, up. Here's your hook. It's up and up, up and up. It's four, three, speed bay right here. Take a little speed bay. Three, two, right here. Relax your arms, shake it up. We're gonna go back to our deadlifts. We're gonna bring back into the straight. Strap, no strap, your choice. Get your shoulders back and down. Here we go. Remember, grab water whenever you want water. There's your hinge, push your hips back. Slide all the way up. Now let your shoulders relax, right? We don't want to have tension in the shoulders. Arms are relaxed. This movement is really about pushing your bum up back and bringing it back up. There's your down and your up. We have time for one more. Finish that one. We're coming back into our plank, but I am gonna add your knee drives forward. Again, I am gonna be staying on the chair for planks. Feel free to take yours wherever you want. You can also plank down the wall. Once you're in your perfect plank, maybe you add a tap. And like I said, today I'm moving a little quicker. Maybe you open the knee to the outside. That's going to be more intense. We have 20 seconds to go. You're picking the pace that works for you. four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Now this time through, we are gonna go into our squat on the wall. So this will be our full squat. Start getting yourself ready. Now 
And then just feel, you should be able to wiggle your toes. Take a little peek, make sure your thighs are shooting forward, make sure your knees are shooting forward. And then we think, exhale, get the core engaged. Five seconds to go, you're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself up. Shake it out, you get your 15 seconds. We're going back into push-ups. The push-ups are going to be, for me, on the wall. You choose wherever you want them. Start getting yourself set up. Even with your push-ups, roll your shoulders back and down. Keep them there. And to move when you're ready. Now take it at a pace that works. Like I said, today I'm going to go a little bit quicker. Now, even when we do push ups, I'm not using momentum. It's about using strength to slide down and bring it up. Okay, but one more push up. Now our next move, we're gonna be doing the wood chop with our band. I am using my lighter band. And to do this, we do one side first. You're gonna stand on the band. You're gonna hold the band. It's going across diagonal, right? And then you're gonna bring it down. You're gonna take it across. You're gonna bring it down. So we're gonna do one side first. Now this is my recommendation. Be aware of what's happening with your shoulders. Right here, you only go where it works for you. Make adjustments with your hands so that the placement works for your shoulders. And this is a squat. We're gonna squat down. Now that means you're gonna bend your hips, knees, ankles together and come up. It's a squat and a reach, squat and reach. One more time, finish that one, and then we have the other side to go. So switch it over, get the width of the band that works for you. You might need more space, less space. I like to hold the band palms in, but that's me. And there comes your squat down and bring it across. Squat down, Bring it across. So we're using our core. This is full body, right? There's your squat and your lift. Squat and lift. Remember to breathe. And that's think diagonal with the arms, right? They're going across your body. So maybe your range of motion is a little smaller. Here's your last one, and then go ahead. Release the band. That was the only time we're doing that move. We're gonna have a seat. We're gonna work on our rows. This is what we're gonna get. We're gonna start with uh, rows back. Band is around your feet. I have my palms in as I pull. And now right here, zip the core. It's your reach, it's your pull. It's your reach, it's your pull. Again, go at a pace. If you want to go a little quicker, go for it. I have the palms in, and there's that little slide back by your rib cage, your waistline with the elbows. You're going to take one more. And let the band release and set yourself up for tricep dips. Now I'm gonna be doing my tricep dips on the chair. I just wanna show you if you choose not to go down and up, you can always choose to go back and forth through your triceps. Otherwise, you're gonna join me. Hips are next to your chair. 
And I always start small, little bend, get a feel for it. There is that little bend in the elbow, bring it up. Once that feels good, maybe you go a little deeper if your shoulders allow it. Then you just make sure it's a tricep, push up through your triceps. You go down and you push, push, push up. Focus specifically on the back of the upper arms. You have time for one more. <clears throat> Finish this all the way out. Then have a seat. And you can go ahead, grab your band. We're going to do rows. Now it's going to be more for your upper back. You're taking your band, wrap around your feet. Palms are down this time, and you're going to pull up towards your chest and then bring it down. Then pull up and then release. There's your up. So now we're thinking more upper back region, right? You can pull palms down and pull up towards your chest. So your elbows are opening up wide to the sides. There's your pull, release, pull, release. One more time. Bicep curls are next. We're going to have you release the band, bring yourself up. We're going to set ourselves up for biceps. Now, maybe you stand on your band with one foot if you need more legs, both your feet. I know this band, I use both my feet when I'm in Irvine, that band, I stand on it with one foot because I need the length. Make adjustments, and then you have your curl and your release. We have 25 more seconds in your bicep curl. Now, remember, shoulders are relaxed, your elbows, Snug against the side. Now we're focusing on the front of the arm. We did the tricep dips. Now we're going to do our bicep curls. And then in about five seconds, we go back to some cardio. One more curl. Take one more curl. I'm going to grab a sip of water and we're going to get ready to go back into our cardio, which is that double step touch. Right here, give yourself space. When you're ready. Use your space, open up the arms. Now, like I said, I'm moving a little quicker today. It's good to move at different speeds now and then. Finish this one, take your march. Here's the march. It is our tap back, arms front. When you're ready, join in, there's your tap. Like I said, a little quicker feet today, but if you don't want to do that, take it at your pace. Twenty seconds to go here. Ten seconds remaining. And march it out, we march, take it, march. Now we're gonna march a little bit wider. When you're ready, here comes your jabs. They're gonna punch to the front. Keep 
Here comes your uppercut. Take it up when you're ready. Look, here we go. Here's your speed bang. Bring it up. And march it out. We march. Take it, march. We're going to repeat those three exercises one more time. Give yourself space. Double step touch. Forty-five seconds here. Use your space. Thirty seconds to go. Last 10 seconds. Here's your march, march it out. Next move is your tap back with your arms going up. When you're ready, here we go. seconds whatever intensity you choose that's where you're taking it ten seconds march it out here's your march Get your feet in a good stance. We're coming into our punches. Here we go, punch, punch. Four, three, hook, bring it up. Right here, this is a hook. Up and up, elbow up, elbow up. There's four, three, uppercut. Here we go. Take it up and up, up and up. Four, three, speed bang. Here it is. And go ahead. Shake it out right there. Give yourself a big little shake. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. We are gonna do our pull down so we can get down with our bands with the plie. Grab the side band you want. Wide, you're coming down from a Y to a W. When you're ready, there's your down and your up. Upper back strengthener right here. There's your down and up. Let's do one more. Then once you're up, you can bring your band down. We're going to come into our chest press. Band is behind your back. I like mine behind my back and under my armpits. It feels more secure. You might like a different version. You're gonna have the push, bring it back. So think push up, control back. I'm adding the knee lift though. We're gonna add a little knee lift as you push. 
Now, maybe you keep it as a toe tap today. Maybe you keep it smaller. There's your knee and push, knee and push. One more time on each side. Once you finish that, you're gonna release the band. Now we're gonna do an overhead press. We're gonna do the right arm, then we're gonna do the left arm. I'm grabbing my lighter band and you're going to have to determine how long you need the band to be when you push up and bring it down. So you might need it longer, shorter. It's an up, it's a down. Now this is shoulder, overhead press. You're down and up. There's your up and you're down. And then you make whatever changes you need. So this is a shoulder, so I want you to really focus. Think of it when we do our dumbbells, it's your overhead press. There is your push and your release. Up and down. Up and down. Finish this one. Shake the arm out because now we get to go on the other side. So you should have felt a little work happening in your shoulder right there. Again, pick the length that works for you. And it's all different for us because we're all different heights. When you're ready, the arm is up, think kind of like goal posts and then you press up. It's like a goal post and you push up because this is for your shoulders. So now we're trying to strengthen our shoulders. Now, maybe you don't get it all the way up. Maybe you start part way because the range of your motion for your shoulder feels better. There's your down and up. You have time for a few more. Let's take one more here. And then you can bring the band down, shake it out. I'm gonna go through our cardio one more time. I am gonna add a little change to it. So right here, start with your march. So we're gonna do our double step touch like we did last time, but I'm gonna add a little little hop. So this is our last time through here. If you don't want the hop, we've done it without the hop. I just like to bring in a couple different variations and honestly a little air time now and then is okay for us. We're almost there. We have our 10 seconds remaining. And there comes your last one. We're gonna take this right into our arms. We're gonna go right into the punching. Get into a good stance for your feet. Plant your feet, here you go. There is your punching bag in front of you. Here is your hook. Take the elbow up. It's a little up and up, up and up. Hook and hook, up and up. Four, three, uppercut. Here we go. Punch up, punch up. Last move, it's your speed bag. Here we go. You can move it around. All right, here, finish it up. Drop your arm, shake it out, add some marching. We're gonna start cooling it down some. Gonna add a little bit of balance because you know I like to toss that in. 
Here's that march on your toes. So right here you think, zip up. Heels come down. We're gonna march on our heels. Squeeze the glutes. Here's your march. And you can go ahead and march it all flat right here. I'm gonna bring us into our walking tightrope. Feel free to take it side to side, wherever you're gonna take it. One more balance, walking forward. Use your space, walking back. Feel free to look over your shoulder. Take it at a pace that works. So you need more challenge today, look over your shoulder. Now when you finish your next one, go ahead and march it out right here. Give yourself a little march. March wide enough, your heels are under your hips. Plant your feet, here comes your hip circles. We're gonna take our hips around in one direction. Just loosen everything up right here. Take the circles in the other direction. Right here, we're going into leg swings. I am going to use the wall. Feel free to use your chair, whatever you have nearby. Little leg swings, that's mobility. Great to loosen up the hips if they get tight, especially if we sit a lot. Of course, if you walk a lot, your hips get tight too. Let's switch sides, take it over to the other side. And now we're gonna take it right into a quadricep stretch. So I'm gonna keep using the wall because I'm already here. That's the heel coming up towards your bum. Maybe you reach your ankle, maybe you don't. And you add your stretch for the front of the thigh, the front of the hip. And then exhale, so you can soften down the hip and the thigh as you hold the stretch. Relax this side, take it over to the other side. Right here comes, heel comes up, and then think a little exhale. Little softness, that includes a standing leg, we keep that knee a little soft. Relax that side. We're gonna come into our side stretch. You're taking the right leg behind the left. Fingertips go up so you can touch the ceiling and then you add a lean. Bring it back to center, take your arms down. Here comes the other side. Foot behind first, fingers up and touch the ceiling. I want you to get longer through your waistline and then you lean off to the side. Bring it back up to center, let your arms come down. I'm gonna have you clasp your hands behind. We did our push-ups, we did planks, we did the chest press with the band. These are all chances right here. We wanna open up the chest. Now you're gonna relax your arms, give yourself a big hug, hug the ball, open up between the shoulder blades. So we did pullbacks in different ways. You're gonna lean off to the right so you can stretch down the left lat, bring it to center, lean to the left, and there's this stretch in the right lat. Bring it back to center, both your arms go up, you flip your palms towards the ceiling, that's to stretch your wrist out. Fingertips release, drop the right hand. There comes your tricep. We did tricep dips. This is your chance to stretch your triceps. Fingertips go up, drop the left. That's to stretch the tricep on the left side. 
fingertips go up. Now bring your arms to the side and then flip your thumb to the floor. Make sure your shoulders are down. Press back. It's the best I can do to get your biceps. There's your stretch for your biceps. Drop your arms all the way down. Take a shoulder roll. Bring the right arm behind your back. That is to stretch your shoulder, chest one more time. Neck, you drop the ear. Now do a little movement with your chin and you might find different height areas that you need to work on. Lift the head, relax the right arm. Take the left arm behind and then you drop the ear. And maybe you need to move your chin down. Maybe you need to lift it up a little. I don't know, but usually we go away from where the most tightness is. You want to work on stretching out the whole neck. Now lift your head, relax your arm, take a big shoulder. There's your shoulder roll. Here comes your big inhale. Reach all the way up. Take your inhale. Exhale, blow it up. We have two more to go. Here comes the inhale. Reach up. Exhale, blow it up. And one more time. Big reach up. There's your inhale. There's your exhale. Thank you all very much.